Hello, welcome back. Welcome to a little vlog from Nadex this year. If you've never been before, Nadex is Europe's biggest disability event and this was my first time there since 2019. Now if I could sum up what you're about to watch in two words, they would be inner turmoil. This was the most people I'd been around since pre-pandemic and I was nervous about it all the way through. To the point where I was debating whether or not I was actually going to do it right up until I entered the building. I debated not uploading this at all because I was getting on my own nerves with all my fretting, but I know I won't be the only one still living with all these fears, even when the rest of the world feels like it's gone back to normal, so solidarity if that's you too, and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Good grief, oh dear, <laughs> I've looked better, but we made it. Hello, welcome back, welcome to Birmingham, this is Nadex, well tomorrow is Nadex, I've just travelled down today. I'd forgotten what Nadex was like, I've just been reminded because I've gone from the train station to the hotel, and in that five minute walk I've seen three people that I know. <laughs> It's the best. I love it. Oh, everybody's here. Not everybody's here. I hate it when people say things like that because other people get FOMO and we don't want any of that around here. But it's really nice to be here. I'm in Ibis Styles and it's a really, really nice hotel. I've been looking forward to these few days for such a long time, but I'm sure everyone watching this will know with the case rates and stuff. It's been, I'm a bit on edge about all of it and I'm very, very conflicted because all I want to do is just go and see all the people, hug all of the people, and it's gonna take quite a lot to not do that. It's all about doing what's right for you. So that's what we'll do. And what's right for me in this moment actually is going for a lie down after that journey. So that's the plan. <laughs> a bit better nice and recharged up and ready to go i've just had to do some work which i am not here for things are a bit wild at the minute so i've just had to do that i'm gonna go and get some food and just have a nice evening nothing too exciting but i'm excited nonetheless oh my goodness i need to start winding down i am struggling but i just had to document how nice it is to be surrounded by other brilliant disabled people my face hurts from smiling just being around other people and just like everyone's just there's just such a lovely atmosphere and this is just the hotel this is just the speakers in the hotel we've not even got to the main event yet i've brought myself away because i need to conserve the energy for tomorrow that's the important thing and with that in mind i'm going to put this down now instead of wittering on good so. morning it's been an eventful one it's all been happening over here and it's not even 10 o'clock yet <laughs> i'm testing negative i have no symptoms I've got the green light from everybody that it's okay, you're fine, everything's okay. Right, I'm ready to go, revised plan. Nadex has already started, but I'm gonna go in a little bit later. Um, got access able, first of all. No, 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 I've got to check into the speaker's lounge and get sorted for my presentation, got to do that um, first off. Don't think I've even mentioned that I'm doing a seminar. I'm doing a seminar later. <laughs> so go to the speaker lounge, get that sorted first of all. Then at 11, we're heading to Accessable. I am an Accessable ambassador. We're doing a little meetup kind of a situation. So I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be really lovely. And then 2 p.m. is my thingy. So my seminar, <laughs> oh God, oh, my brain. Look, it's gonna be fine. I'm saying this to myself as much as I'm saying it to anybody who's watching this afterwards. It's gonna be fine. We're just gonna be extra, 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 extra careful and just make the most of the day and just try and enjoy it as best as we can. That's what we're gonna do. I need I need to shut up and I need to go, but I'm just hyper conscious that anybody who just watched this afterwards, I am confident I'm negative. I am really, really confident I'm negative and I'm just taking extra precautions like I probably would anyway. I hope people know that. I hope I'm not, it doesn't look like I'm just putting this aside or brushing it under the carpet, but right, okay, shut up Pippa, right, let's do the day. <laughs> job of vlogging here but we are about half one I've spent the morning with Shona which was really nice a few of us have just gone and had some lunch had a catch up I'm now back in the speaker lounge for a little bit my talk is in about half an hour so in 15 minutes we're going to go over there and get set up and hopefully it's going to be okay <laughs> we'll see okay I'm running really early but we're pretty much ready to go I'm just going to get mic'd up like five minutes before I'm way too early I've miscalculated this but I'm really glad about this. I think we're going to do it through the headsets. I'm not sure if it'll be coming up on video, but um, it's quite loud in here. And I'm a bit worried in terms of sensory overload, not just for me, but for like anybody listening as well. 
the, on the assumption that anybody's actually going to come because I'm still not sure. Um, and I'm also, hang on, I'm also right opposite the main stage and Tanny Grey Thompson's on there and I mean I know which one I would rather go to. <laughs> but fingers crossed it's going to be okay. I'm very publicly right now. But I've just finished my talk, I'm back in the speaker lounge, I'm so glad it's done and it went really well. God, I'm so self-conscious right now. I actually felt like I could cry. People turned up, people were there and they were engaged and they were asking questions and they were buying my book. So maybe I'll chat more later. I am badly flagging now, but I just like to document these moments. So mask going back on, going into chill mode, have a snack, have some medication and then see what the rest of the day holds. someone's decided to park like this which means there's no dropped curb there's no way I can squeeze through there so I'm gonna to have to go all the way down there all the way around and all the way through the car park just because of this parking so love that for me sometimes I think my illness is invisible and then you see this this is what post-exertional malaise looks like <laughs> I am just sat on the floor I haven't quite made it to the bed or a chair yet we're just gonna sit here for a little bit but I wanted to document this it's not even Nadex related it's just happened while I'm at Nadex I have been waiting for my access to work application to be processed for five months now radio silence for five months there's been a massive backlog not heard a peep out of them that's very normal that's very typical my um application started moving earlier this week i had an initial assessment on monday and today is wednesday and in the last 48 hours i have been absolutely harassed by access to work they have been calling texting emailing saying we need this within 48 hours this within 48 hours this within 48 hours or we're going to send your claim back and i have explained to them that i am away on a work thing because i am a working disabled person the type of person you're supposed to be supporting and they're not having any of it so the fact that i haven't got this stuff together and i can't magically make myself available within the next few days to do a one and a half hour assessment because i need to work and rest and manage my condition i I don't, it, it is such a flawed system and it's been so annoying and it's been happening all day and it's really taken away from my enjoyment of the day and it's just, I'm sure there'll be other people who've gone through this as well so, oh gosh, what a palaver. Thoughts on the day before I take my face off and just like curl up into the fetal position. <laughs> Nadex was good, I enjoyed it, it was really good to, you know, go around, have a nosy slightly falling in love with a new power chair which I really could have done without but there we go. It was really lovely to see people, some familiar faces, some new faces, that was that always feels really really special. It's it's weird even to talk about it but it's just really lovely so if you said hello thank you so much because it was you who made my day more than anybody else. Uh, talk, talk was, oh, people came, people came to my talk and that means, oh my gosh, I don't, I wasn't joking when I said I was worried no one was going to turn up. Um, it was a real and genuine concern and I was there 15 minutes before and no one was there and I thought, oh my God, this was a very real fear, no one's going to come. But then after that, luckily they started coming and I, I was really happy with the number. I I was really happy with the number. I was really happy with the discussion that happened afterwards, the Q&A. I sold some books, had some really good chats, and I'm really, really pleased with how that went. There's no feeling like it. It's It was so wonderful. And just that people were there and so willing to learn about chronic illness and energy limiting conditions and engage with that discussion. People who wouldn't have come across it otherwise. I, I yeah, I'm really, really glad about that. And, uh, oh, hang on, no, I need to break my arms hurting. <laughs> I feel like I want to say in the in the kindest and most constructive way, I Nadex isn't a faultless initiative. It's not. It's often very clear that it is run by non-disabled people primarily. And there are certain things that just don't quite feel right with the with the times and they just seem a few years behind. And I know they're catering for a wide audience, so perhaps that's why, but there are some things there that I really just did not agree with. I'm no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna elaborate anymore. It's not a faultless organisation. There's a lot of room for improvement, but I'd like to think it does improve year on year. And they do work collaboratively with disabled people. So hopefully with more of that, it's just gonna get better and better. It's gonna get even better than it already is. But I just love that it exists. I loved having an excuse to come up, share a bit of, share some thoughts from my noggin, see some lovely people who I don't get to see that often and, 
and leave him feeling mentally feeling good physically feeling not so good but I'm going to go and take care of myself now so I'll probably leave this here for today and let's see what happens tomorrow. I'll tell you what happened tomorrow the next day was not a good symptom day and sometimes even when you've geared yourself up for that it can still catch you off guard a little bit can't it? It was a real struggle to get myself home. My first train was delayed and that meant assistance couldn't get me on my next train on time and then that one had delays so the two and a half hour journey home ended up taking five hours and I was very ready for bed at the end of it. But that brings us to the end of this vlog. Not my best, nothing groundbreaking, but I hope you enjoyed having a little glimpse into Nadex this year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.